Welcome, welcome to Throwback Theater. I'm Anya Malik, digging into my archives, going through some classic comedy sets. Well, classic to me, at least. You know, I, I, I've been, I'm here where I'm at now, but I had to get here somehow, and I'm gonna be going back and looking at uh, some of the classics <laughs> that I've that I've uh, performed, some of the fun that I've had uh, before this moment, this point in time. Now, uh, coming up though, before that, I got some sketches. Uh, and I'm gonna play, but also let me remind you though uh, about the wing set giveaway. I got the merch giveaway uh, August 21st. I'm giving out a, a Colonel Face hoodie, wing set merch box, and a t shirt. Okay, and then the wing set merch box is uh, the wing set sauce packs, the stickers, and the Colonel Face t shirt in there. All of this is to celebrate and commemorate uh, the comedy EP, the wing set that I just released featuring. The tracks, The Wing Shortage, Tender, Tall, and Thick, Don't Worry About It, featuring Damar Randy and Shanice Antonio, uh, Antonia, uh, and the track uh, R.I.P. Art Supplies. But yeah, mess with it. Uh, the details to how you can win that is going to be in, the dis in this description. Uh, I'm announcing the winner August 21st, but I got a little special mini contest with the, uh, the Palpatine, the baby Palpatine power pack. You know what I mean? The baby Palpatine pack is going up uh, and we got we got some people on the leaderboard already. So you wanna get yourself in on the leaderboard, find out how to do that. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna check out this. I'm gonna, let's check out these classic sketches. Enjoy. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Dude, get off your phone. Ha! Don't it be like that all the time? Wow. I'm hella stupid. I'm so dumb. Dumb, 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 Almost, man. Oh, what is this? This is the Baby Palpatine Power Pack. I'm giving it away Saturday. Man, these giveaways, these little collectibles and trinkets. You know what I mean? Anybody that enter into the giveaway, the wing set giveaway, before I do this announcement, uh, they'll be eligible to win. Uh, of course, the big announcement is going down August 30th. Oh, I'm sorry, August 21st is the big announcement. <laughs> August 21st is the big announcement for the big giveaway. Uh, but this Saturday, you know what I mean? Check out the Baby Palpatine pack going up and going out. Uh, but let's check out this old classic, man. Let's check out this classic from the past, man. It's over a decade, year old, man. This is over a decade of comedy, man. I think I, yeah, man. I don't even know if I was going by Anya Malik or King Anya at the time. It was probably in between. It's that old. It's that throwback. So you enjoy that on this throwback fiesta. Please make some noise for Brother Anye. I want to turn it, yeah, you can turn it down a little lower. I want like the ambient bed of music as I, you know what I mean? Go in, you feel me? Yeah, you can even make it softer, like a quieter storm, you know what I'm saying? It's a quiet storm already. That's perfect, yeah. yeah. I like that. I like, it. hey, before I, you know what I'm saying, get to run in my mouth. <laughs> Let me get some energy from y'all. Everybody show yourself some love. Come on now. No, everybody, show yourself some real love. I need to do that. No, real love. Stroke your body. Stroke your body. I got this soft ambient bed of music going on. Just for stroking. No? Okay. You ain't got to stroke your body. It's cool. You can probably get arrested for that. 
that's all good. I know what you're thinking, is this guy a comedian or a sex symbol? <laughs> I often battle with the same question myself. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. But no, 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 I kid. I am actually a seasoned comedian. Excited to say that I'm a seasoned comedian. I say that I'm a seasoned comedian not just because I play clubs and colleges across the United States. I say I'm a seasoned comedian because I got pepper sprayed last Tuesday. And I still kind of smell cayenne pepper in my mustache. Especially when I do that. I was non-specific, by the way. Unless you want it to be. Happy birthday. Abortion is not funny at all. It isn't. But it's kind of my job to make it funny, so we'll try it out. You ready? So, just keep it sexy. Listen. How many fetuses? Never mind. See what I did right there? I aborted that joke out. Before I got one third of the way to tell it. Because I'm responsible. I'm responsible. Saying I also don't tell rape jokes like a lot of comedians. <laughs> I mean, I used to tell a rape joke. I used to. It wasn't that funny. It was kind of funny, but it was like one of those you had to be there kind of funny. How I got seasoned as a comedian. I feel like the only thing standing in between me and success is this button. Hey, calm down, calm down. This show was only six dollars, all right? Hey, just relax, be easy. I'm six foot six. Relax, calm down, you know what I mean? It's not that fun for me. I don't like it that much. I mean, got some little perks I can see over people's heads in large groups and navigate through crowds and whatnot. But other than that, that's it. That's where it stops. For some reason, when you're a certain height, people assume that you was put here on the planet Earth to help them live their lives more comfortably and conveniently, reaching for things from shelves at the grocery store. Or maybe you just want to go about your shopping for the day. They got people that work here that can help you. I'm not one of those people. Shit. They tell you how frustrated I get when someone approaches me. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. You're just so tall. If you just reach up and grab those beans, you're so much closer than me. Thank you. You know, I got to be nice. I got to tell them, you know, you don't have to thank me. I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> then I walk off. Cause if I stand there, that'd be disrespectful. And I'm not a disrespectful person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could never be six foot six and walk up to anybody like, hey, sorry to bother you, Clea. You just so short. Could you just reach down for me and help me with my shoelaces? I don't want to have to go all the way down there. I'm going to get a head rush. Get my ligaments popping. Get the bins. I don't want the bins. You don't want the bins. Who wants the bins? You're so much closer. Go to hell. <laughs> Six foot six, people tell me sometimes they wish they was as tall as me. I know, it's just stupid. These people don't know me, they don't know my lifestyle. Never hit their head on anything. I don't know what that feels like. I wouldn't wish that on any of you sexy individuals or you ugly ones either. We're not even gonna talk about that. Nah, seriously, have you ever hit your head on something in front of a group of females that still tried to be this player with it? Oh, it's so difficult. It's just, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, this is my thinking face, baby. Yeah, it's just when I have deep introspections, just trying to come up with the words to describe such magnificent radiance. Yeah. Oh, why is my forehead bleeding? Mm. Future. My third eye cries when I see the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's fun for me. From Oakland, California, 
Yeah, you can get excited about that if you'd like. It's the fifth most dangerous city in the United States. It's all right, I'm still proud to be from there, though. We'll get them next year. I always laugh at that. Think about it, it'll, it'll hit you on the car ride home. See, I'm actually excited about the crime statistic numbers. I always get excited when the new ones come out every year. In my mind, I feel like it should, somebody, should be somebody accepting these awards. Like the most thugged out player of the city, just like, yeah, we finally did it, y'all. Yeah, we brought the crime cup home. Oh. First of all, I wanna thank God for this victory. I wish all things are possible. We all came together as a cohesive unit, posted a lot of 187s and 211s early on in the first quarter. Even the hoes put their asses on the line in this game. Big shouts out to the sexual predators, stepping it up with the touch and go offense. Really forcing those turnovers. And you know, it just wasn't violent offenders. We had a lot of non-violent, petty purse snatching. You know what I'm saying, going on. But we all came together. And now we got the most crimes per capita, you bitch. Nice bag. What's your name? Thank you. What's your name? Mon Ladies and gentlemen, Monica. No, show her some real love. Around the areolas. Make the nipples percolate. Kid, you'll probably get arrested for that. <laughs> if you sure. <sighs> I'm a bachelor. It sounds more fun than saying, I'm single. So I'm single. I'm a bachelor. <laughs> but you know what? I still play some childish games with love. Not like emotional games that work. <laughs> talking about childish games like Red Rover. Uh, <laughs> you remember the game of Red Rover? Does anybody? Yeah. No, some of y'all, for those of you who didn't have a childhood, I'll explain the game of Red Rover. Two groups of children will line up and hold hands, forming a line, and call upon one individual from the opposite side to come over and try to break the chain of hands that was holding the line together. You listening, Monica? You used to play it on the playground. Now I play it with my cell phone. Like, Red Rover, Red Rover, let's see, can Keisha come over? <laughs> and break the chain of hands I've been using on myself for the last three weeks. <laughs> the games don't stop there with Red Rover, nah. That would be too easy. I also uh, notice I'll be playing this little game called Red Light, Green Light. Y'all remember Red Light, Green Light? It was a fun game. If you didn't, again, have that childhood, it was so wondrous that you can look back upon such magnificent, anyways. One child at the end of the line just yelling out traffic signals, and we all try to follow the traffic signals, and if we fuck up anywhere along the way, we gotta start all over. Used to play it on the field, now I play it with my lady friends, and they little mixed signals, they be throwing out, Anya, let's hang out, green light. But we just friends though, red light. But green light, let's get some drinks though. But red light, we not gonna get drunk. But green light, we totally drunk right now. But red light, we're still friends. But green light, we're benefits. But I'm on my red light right now. But green light, I don't be tripping. It's not my house, these ain't my sheets. <laughs> hey, I kid. Say, speaking of red lights, I see a red light there. So before I leave, <laughs> I know you're so sad to see me leave right now. And I apologize for having to go so soon. <laughs> but I will announce before I leave that I uh, recently lost 30 pounds. That was exciting for me. Yeah, you can get excited about that. I had a medical procedure performed. It was a uh, circumcision. Um, it's all about the sacrifice. I'm Anya Malik. <laughs> <laughs> that dude Dang. was really a fool, right? Damn, you! I really thought I was a, a sex lord or some shit. Man, I was really on some other shit back then, huh? Man, wow. Well, thank you for joining me on this 
little uh, little dig through the archives. Uh, forgive me if the, the video quality is not as fire as we have now, uh, but uh, but thank you also. Oh yeah, don't forget to enter to win into the contest. The details are in the, in the, it's the, the links is in the details below. Uh, appreciate you joining me on this throwback theater. I will return some, some other day on some other occasion, but yeah. Bless up, good looking, I'm up, and uh, yeah, look back. But I won't do that. Though things ain't going my way.